Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. This is going to be the final video I record on the Halo Wars 2 Blitz beta. Uh, obviously won't be the last video to go out. I think it'll be one of the earlier ones since the beta has ended. Uh, but I did want to show this um, if you did not see it now. As you can see here, we have six heroes. We have Decimus, Etriox, Shipmaster, Captain Cutter, Isabel, and Professor Anders. Now, if you take a look here, go into card library, and go all the way to the end, that's the easiest thing, go all the way to the end, you're going to see a unit here called Forge's Warthog. Now, you can see I don't have Warlord, but you can see this unit, Forge's Warthog. Now, Sergeant Forge will be in the full release. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research on Halo Wars 2, so who knows, this could have been like widely covered, and I just... I don't know. It could have been in it. But he is in the game. Forge's Warthog is in the game. It's got Rally and Shield. And he does have some other units in the game that are special to him. Uh, just like all the other heroes. So Forge's Warthog. If you come over here, you have his signature Grizzly tanks with Missile Barrage. Fires multiple missiles at medium range targets. Now, when we get the full release of the game, Forge is looking like a character I am going to like. I loved his Grizzly Tanks in the original Halo Wars, and um, I think I'm going to like uh, using him in this game as well. Combat Salvage, also exclusive to him. Tag your mechanical units to redeploy them back at base if killed. So that is another really cool uh, unit card, or his special card that he can have. Now here is another one, Trooper Warthog. Or actually, no, this isn't limited to him. Uh, this is just a unit that I haven't gotten yet. Uh, same with the Ironclad Wraith. I haven't gotten a few cards in this game, um, but the Vanguard Kodiak is another card specific to him, um, and it is actually fairly cheap. I like the price at 110. Uh, it has the rush ability, which means you can drop it in combat, and you don't, and it will have full strength immediately. Uh, it has the deploy like the regular Kodiaks, so Forge already. We're not even. He's not even been out. Haven't even gotten to play with him. And I can already tell I'm going to like him as a unit card. Now, Scattered Bomb, that's another one. Fires a staggered series of bombs onto the battlefield. Um, pretty much just what it says. It's going to drop a bunch of bombs onto the field. Deal damage. Uh, Prowling Reaver, another card that I didn't unlock in the beta. Uh, Armored Warthog, that's limited to Isabel, which I didn't un unlock in the beta. Uh, Heavy Metal, I believe, is limited to Sergeant Ford. Yep, boosts the armor of target allies, but reduces their movement speed. Great for units sitting up on the ridge, great for units sitting... Uh, this could actually be comboed really well with Bloodfield Locust up on the ridge. Um, you would be playing 2v2 or 3v3, obviously, you wouldn't be buffing your own units, but you would be buffing your teammates, and that would be a really nice card for those situations. Uh, we have the Reactive Marines, which are Sergeant Ford. They have Reflect. Uh, half of the damage this unit takes is automatically dealt back to an enemy attacker. That is a really nice ability, uh, and it'll be interesting to see how that plays in the full game. You also have the Reactive Cyclops. It is not limited to him, but it is under the same kind of premise as the Reactive Marines are. Uh, next, we have the Pelican Transport, which is Sergeant Forge. Pick up and move your units to another location. Pretty much similar to the teleport ability uh, that we already have in the game. Uh, Grunt Mob, one thing that I wasn't able to grab. Uh, Extractor Marines, another thing that I couldn't get. There are a few cards, you know, here and there that I didn't get. But I did want to show you guys Sergeant Forge and his exclusive cards in the game. Hopefully we'll be getting new units all the time in Halo Wars 2. Not new units, but you know, new leaders with new units, that's what I mean. As well as maybe some new units, but I don't want them to get, like, out of control. Maybe, you know, like, one new hero every month or something like that for a year. That would... That would give us six new heroes for each squad, and that would keep the game fresh and new every month. That may be a little bit overkill, but you know what I mean. Just some new stuff every once in a while. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Short little video here just going over Sergeant Forge. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.